Next, we're going to get a little bit further into exponential functions here and see uh, more of a practical use. So this is compounding interest. So if you're planning to basically make some money, obviously you're going to invest that money. And a lot of times when you invest your money in a bank, they'll uh, compound your interest. And one way to do this is uh, if your interest is compounded a certain number of times per year, you will use this formula A equals P, parentheses 1, plus R over N to the NT power. Where A represents the amount of money after a certain time, P is the principal. I did spell that right. It's spelled just like that. Uh, just like Dr. Rouse, uh, and that's your original investment. R is your interest rate, but you must write that as a decimal. T is your time in years, and N is the number of times interest is compounded per year. So we'll look at an example and see if we can't uh, calculate how much uh, interest we might have. So here's our example. Susie wants to go to Europe after she graduates college. She received $2,000 from her birthday and high school graduation. If she invests her money for four years at 5.5% interest, compounded monthly, will she have the $3,000 need to go to Europe? All right, so we don't know what our A is, but we do know what our principal is. She's going to invest $2,000. Uh, that one is a one. Her interest rate has to be written as a decimal. The way you can write your interest rate as a decimal is to take your interest rate and divide it by 100, or move the decimal two places to the left. N is the number of times that it's compounded per year. So this says it's compounded monthly. And what that means is there are 12 months in a year, so N will be 12 in a problem like this. And then uh, we're still going to use the same in here. So 12 times our years, our years will be 4. So this is how we set up our problem. And now we're going to go ahead and make sure that we can get our answer. So let's bring back up our nice little calculator here. And well, maybe it's somewhere where I can see. Well, it's best going to be over here, I guess, then. So what we're going to do is we're going to say 2,000. I'll clear this out. And actually, what I usually do is do what's in the parentheses first. So plus decimal 0, 0,55 five, divided by 12. So your calculator will do order of operations. So it'll do the division first. And you can see it gives us this. And then we're going to raise it to the... Uh, 12 times 4 power. Now old operating systems, if you notice I just hit that caret button and it gave me the answer. It's very important that we do this because obviously money you want to be very specific. So instead of copying down 1 decimal 0, 0, 4, 5, 8 and ending there, your answer will be a little bit off. So if you just hit the caret key or second equal, no second negative, it will allow you to bring the answer up from the last problem. And that way our answer is going to be a little bit more accurate. So we'll hit times uh, 12, or raise to the 12 times 4 power. Again, older operating systems may not show it like that. When you hit times, it may put the 4 down here, so you need to make sure that you put it in parentheses. But this calculator will do it. So I get that, and I'm going to multiply that by 2,000. So we do this, we get this. So our answer, it looks like it's going to be uh, $2,490 and 90 cents. So $2,490 and did I say 90 or 91 cents? 90 cents. So unfortunately for Susie, she would not have enough money uh, to be able to go on her trip and pay for the whole thing. So she may have to wait and get a little college funds, uh, or she might just have to be a little bit more frugal in her spending.